This is Twit. Uh, the real problem is not electric or gas. The real problem is private ownership of cars. I don't know if we're ever going to solve that problem. No, we're not. Because in a way, uh, you know, here, this is exactly what it is here. We we happen to be a place, uh, it's sort of a high immigrant population, right? Because of the way the island was, yeah, controversial. It's a very diverse away. island. Yeah. Right. It was controversially taken away. Many of the cultures got here in order to help run factories for Dole and uh, farms for Dole. Right. Plantations. So let's be when you honest. came from some place where people yeah. didn't have things, you get here, your first generation, you want to provide your kids things better than the next. Right. And so that everybody does, right? But it's amplified here because of the whole American dream stories, whatever. I come from a place where I was walking, catching trains, or maybe even still riding a four-legged vehicle, and now I get to own a car. When my kids are old, I'm gonna get them a car right away. So you have a large family, you got five or six kids, and every kid gets a car. Ugh. So it gets uh, it gets crazy really quickly. You can't really keep quickly. doing that. You, you can't, can't keep got to get your kids scooters. But nobody wants to cars. sacrifice. I understand. Oh my goodness. I'm looking at a scooter that has a dumb name. It's called Scooter Tron something. Uh, scooter McScooterson or something crazy like that. <laughs> well, it's uh, really just it's a week, dumb name, I, but I want uh, one. <laughs> I, I was in Traverse City uh, for uh, a conference this week, and they um, an old friend of mine um Introduced was who's working with uh, this uh, UK company called uh, Zap Scooters. They introduced their first uh, electric scooter. It's going on sale. They're going to start deliveries in Paris uh, later this month, uh, and it's a really cool looking scooter. It's got about a 40 mile range. It'll go. Uh, I think it'll go up to about 50 miles an hour, uh, but it's you know it's got removable batteries, so you can take the batteries out, you know, take them inside and charge them up. You can get spare batteries, just like you used to do with your with your Samsung phones, Leo. You can get spare batteries and stick them in there, and uh, it's it's actually in the uh, in the rundown here, uh, the uh, the Zap scooter, um, and uh, it's it's actually it's a it's designed as a more premium scooter. And it's a really cool looking design. And uh, I think, you know, it's definitely that that's the sort of thing that especially in cities, especially in crowded cities, I think, you know, we, we need to get more people uh, adopting micro mobility uh, solutions, yes. whether it's I agree. E or I agree. You know, scooters or, you know, other small vehicles like that. Apparently it is Scooter McScooterson. I'm not joking, man. It's called Rolly. The one that I saw is called the Rolly. It stands up by itself. It's got a gigantic fat wheel. Oh, no. And I've seen I, the Rolly. The Rolly. I've never cared about this until I went to San Diego the like a couple months before the situation, as I call it. And I ripped around San Diego for like a week and a half with just Lime scooters. And I was like, I want this life. This is so cool. This is the Rolly, <laughs> Rolly Scooterson, the intelligent scooter. Oh, cool. I want that. It's so cute. And get off. It stands up by itself. What? Is like, it? Is it like a no segue? Self-balancing? Oh. Yeah, self-balancing. Oh, that's neat. So it's like a little Segway scooter. How much yeah. are those? I don't know yet. Too much. I'm trying to find out. I love my e-bike. I stopped riding it because somebody got creamed on his bike on the, on the bridge that I cross, would cross to get here every day. And I just, I feel like it's not safe anymore. So that's why I still drive a car. That's what, another reason why I say I was right. If more people would do the micro mobility, yeah, so you, you just be safer. This is a great conversation, Leo, because you've just been here. There's a lot of driving for things that are under a mile, and it drives me insane because I lived in Japan where you don't get in a car unless yeah, it's over right. two but miles. They have great mass transit. Two mile is the threshold. But there's a lot of places where you're just going to the store, the store is less than a mile away, but nobody will walk. Everybody will drive, and that's what makes it crowded. It's the short trips that are obnoxious. Going to work and from work, we get that, but it's the everyday little short trips. And so Beaky, which is those little uh, mint green bikes you saw, has helped out a lot, but mostly the tourists ride them because they come from places that had bikes. So we're still trying to get it out of the head that I need my own car. And of course you saw the gigantic 2003 Toyotas that are like lifted this high off the ground. Yeah. They look brand new, but it's just obnoxious for an island. Like, where are you going with that? <laughs> so the Rollies are between three and thousand and thirty five hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah, it's on. <gasps> they come in orange. Oh yeah, you know there you have, go. You like orange, color. or orange you prefer color, cyan, man. yellow, red, white, or carbon fiber? I might get orange. That'd be more visible. 
Yeah. It might the, be more uh, visible. The Zap Scooter's on line 60 in the rundown, if you're interested. I'm, I'm looking at it. It's beautiful. <sighs> okay. But will yeah. it make it here, Sam? <sighs> yeah, it will be coming here next year. So they're Ooh. rolling it out city by city. Maybe pretty, I don't right? need a car. Because we, if we had two cars there and a you scooter, go. my daughter could her, drive. Sam. Cause <laughs> there oh. you go. The, we have ended private ownership of vehicles on this show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It's no, amazing. I would privately own three vehicles in this case. <laughs> but one of them would be a Zap Urban Mobility vehicle. And That's the other's cool. electric, but still. Mm. That's cool. Well, this is electric too, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, this is the one I was talking about. The, the batteries are removable. Uh, and and a, a lot of the uh, scooter companies, especially in Asia now, are doing removable batteries. Um, and there's a company called Gogoro that <gasps> has... has is setting up uh -oh. um, uh -oh. chart battery we're swap stations. We have an Stacy attack. <laughs> what what happened, Stacy? Familiar with Gogoro? The prices? Oh yeah. So oh. high. Yeah. yeah, so high. So high. Well, you can get a twenty five hundred dollar tax credit on this one. On the but Zap this, this or one, on the Roller Row on, Go on Below? The, on the on the Zap. So this this one's uh, this zap is their is premium nine thousand dollars, y'all, or seventy five hundred for the regular. But you get. Yeah. But how much is the twenty twenty five hundred bucks off of that? Um, but you know, think. Think about what a you know just a regular e bike costs these days. I mean, you're They're spending six three, thousand. Four grand well, for yeah, e yeah, yeah. The the new Trek that I was looking at was six grand. Yeah, for a, a Trek uh, roadway, roadway, something like that. But yeah. Okay, that's a fancy bike. <laughs> that's a Trek, Trek I mean, baby. Made in America. Well, well not I know, really. But that's, that's a fancy <laughs> Part, bike. Parts of it are made in America. <laughs> yeah, the logo. <laughs> <laughs>